All right, so th thank you and good morning, everyone. Um, now I'll, I'll proceed with uh, my opening remarks. Um, as you know, SATML is a conference that uh, started uh, just last year, and we're in the second edition here. I'm very excited to be here today after another year of preparation. Um, so this is not something I did on my own. Uh, the conference was co-chaired uh, by myself and Carmela Troncoso uh, from EPFL. So as you can tell, I'm the only one standing here this morning. So uh, Carmela prepared a little message that I will play for you now. And hopefully the sound goes through. Hi, everyone. It does not. One second. If it's my laptop. Hi everyone, I'm very sad of not being able to be there with you. I'm just entering my six month of pregnancy and honestly, I'm too fat to travel to Toronto. I was very excited when Nicholas invited me to chair this conference and I'm really excited about the program. So I hope you enjoy it and enjoy meeting the people. Have fun. All right, so if you can send a congratulations email to Carmela and also thank her for, for all the work she did. Uh, she's been an amazing uh, co-chair. I learned a lot from organizing this conference uh, with her. So please do take a few seconds to send her uh, an email. I know she's really uh, sad that she couldn't make it here. All right, and so now I'd like to thank you, all of our attendees, so this year we're very excited to have reached about 200 attendees, um, out of which 44 are paper authors. And so this is really nice to see this community forming. Uh, I know last year we were just about 140 and the people uh, that were attending told me that they really enjoyed how small the venue was compared to uh, sort of your typical machine learning conference or even computer security conference these days. So I hope that we can continue building this community um, and, and really um, appreciate the fact that we have this time here together to, uh, to discuss new research ideas. I also wanna take the time to acknowledge the contributions and the work of our uh, PC. So we had over 100 PC members this year. Uh, I hope that not too many of them will be too mad at me for sending many reminder emails. Uh, but we really appreciate all, all the help, and it's, it takes a lot of work to put together the very nice program that we have the privilege to have uh, at the conference this year. I also want to thank our organizing team. So we had a steering committee with Bean, Zico, Bo, Alex, and Ben, who gave us a lot of feedback on, on how to structure the conference. And uh, Gautam is here in the audience. Uh, I think Lea is here too. And Johan also helped a lot with uh, sort of social media donations. And uh, if you have such a nice website, you can thank Johan for that. Otherwise, if I made the website, it would have been a lot more bare bones. Um, I also want to thank Reka, who you must have seen when you came in to pick up your badge. Uh, I cannot stress this enough. Uh, if Reika was not here, the, this conference would not be uh, happening. So please give her uh, a big round of applause. I also want to thank my group members. So they are spread out throughout the room uh, here today and, and until Thursday. Again, uh, they were very patient with me uh, throughout this past year. 
and they are helping behind the scenes in lots and lots of ways, uh, very generous with their time. So please, if you get a chance to see them, go and say hi, learn about their research. Uh, they can't wait to submit to next year's conference after this uh, two-year ban on, on submissions. Um, so please, uh, a round of applause also for, for my group. We are also very lucky to have uh, generous sponsors this year. Um, so I'd like to acknowledge Schmidt Sciences, the schwartz Riesman Institute for Technology and Society at UFT, Google, Apple, CIFAR, uh, the Vector Institute and Robust Intelligence uh, for their generous support of the conference. And uh, all of this funding was used uh, to support 28 uh, travel awards. So we really appreciate all this funding that was uh, used to, uh, in particular, help us have uh, better representation at the conference. Uh, so we're very privileged uh, for, for these donations. Now, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the reviewing process. Um, so, it, as, as you know, for 44 of you, since you got a paper accepted, uh, we started the process in mid-October, and it was uh, fairly compressed. Uh, everything was done by mid-December. We had a two-round uh, reviewing, uh, which, which means that uh, essentially some papers were uh, early rejected after uh, receiving two reviews. Um, and so after that first stage, we had uh, still 80 papers under consideration. And so at that stage, we assigned uh, additional reviews. Uh, all papers got at least four reviews. Uh, if there was a bit of uh, difficulty in coming to a decision, we sometimes requested an additional review. Um, and, and one of the nice things, uh, once all of these reviews were in, is we allowed for uh, the discussion to be interactive and to allow uh, edits to the paper. Um, and I think that's really important. It's something that the machine learning community is used to uh, with ICLR allowing this for, for a number of years now. It's not as uh, common in, in the security community. I personally thought that it helped a lot of papers uh, sort of avoid a revision cycle where they would need to be resubmitted at, at another venue. Uh, I saw quite a few discussions where the reviewers acknowledged that the paper had been edited in a way that's uh, sort of satisfactory and, and doesn't need sort of another round of reviews. And so I hope more and more venues can adopt this, this model to try and decrease the burden on, on reviewers because ultimately that's, that's one of our, our aims. And so eventually we, uh, we accepted 29 papers directly and uh, we issued a few major revisions. Those were very compressed timelines. So the authors had about three to four weeks to uh, do yet another round of revisions. And then the reviewers looked at that, that revision and uh, accepted five out of these eight papers, okay? Um, and so in total, the program you'll see, it's made up of 30 research papers and four systematiz systematization of knowledge papers. So these are essentially, for people who are not as familiar with this format, they are sort of survey papers plus plus. Uh, the idea being that they're not just a survey of the, of the field, they should also provide novel insights in, in what the community needs to work on next. Um, here on, on the right, you have uh, a very hard to, grif uh, to read histogram. Uh, which is a specialty. If you ask my group members, I'm very good at making bad figures. Um, and so the most interesting part is that this bar corresponds to uh, privacy and the other uh, bars are other topics that were submitted. So um, the privacy received the most number of uh, submissions actually and accepted papers and novel attacks on machine learning comes in second. So that's just to give you a sense of the, the trends in the community. Um, we also were very fortunate to have four uh, uh, people uh, step up to select best papers. Um, so that's Elisa red -Miles, Fabio Pirazzi, Matthew Jagowski, and uh, Nidhi Hegde. 
And so I'm very happy to announce uh, the winners. So there are two uh, papers that got selected for the best, best paper awards and two runner-ups. So the first best paper award goes to Jifan Kong and Kamalika Shoduri for data redaction from conditional generative models. So we'll give them a round of applause. And the second paper goes to Abeba Birane, Ryan Seed, Victor Ojewale, Brianna Vecchione, and uh, Deborah Rachi for, for their systematization of knowledge paper on AI auditing the broken bus on the road to AI accountability. So another round of applause. And so as I mentioned, we also had two runner-ups uh, because the committee felt that these papers also uh, deserved to be recognized. Um, and, and so I'll announce these two. So the first one is uh, by Eduardo De Benedetti, Nicholas Carlini, and Florian Kramer uh, for evading black box classifiers without breaking eggs. And I guess that's a lot of authors. So uh, the second uh, uh, runner-up goes to Ben Itzak et al. Uh, for Sign FL, Efficient and Robust Secure Quantized Aggregation. Congratulations. So we also like uh, to acknowledge the contributions of the PC members. So I, I already showed you the, P, the, the PC members initially, but uh, Carmela and I thought that uh, 10 members in particular deserved extra recognition for going above and beyond. And that means reading, uh, sorry, submitting reviews of really very detailed, uh, high quality feedback on, on the papers and also being very proactively engaged in the discussion you know as authors that uh, there is nothing more frustrating than sort of submitting uh, a rebuttal and not hearing back. And, and these reviewers really went above and beyond to engage with the authors and, and I really appreciate that and Carmela also really appreciates that. So we'd like to uh, acknowledge uh, Asia Giga, Conrad Rick, Giovanni Shiroba, Jamie Hayes, Dave Evans, Lydia Zakivino, Alina Oprea, David Kruger, Ryan Schitzli, and Francisca Bonish. Congratulations to all of you. This is a fun job. I just need to congratulate a lot of people. I like it. Um, so uh, now a little bit of advertisement. If you would like to find a room that is cooler than this room to organize uh, Sadamel 2025, uh, Carmela and I decided to this year open up um, sort of a bid process so that if people are interested, they can uh, scan this QR code. If you're a security person and you don't like scanning QR codes, you can simply type this URL and be redirected to an unknown website, uh, which is not much better. Um, if you trust me, it's a Google form. <laughs> and uh, essentially, we're just trying to get a sense where would you organize the conference, who would be the general chair, we already have selected uh, program co-chairs for next year, uh, and I will not reveal their identities until the closing remarks, but I will give you clues. Um, so the first person is inside this room, and the second person has a very, uh, how should I say, uh, a Twitter handle that many people would be jealous of in this room. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're just trying to get a sense of uh, if, if people would like to volunteer to run the conference uh, along with these program co-chairs. And I will not reveal their identities until the closing remarks. In terms of logistics, uh, so as I mentioned, there are a lot of people in the room behind the scenes helping. Uh, Reka is happy to answer questions if you have any. If you can recognize some of my group members, um, you are also happy to, uh, welcome to ask questions. 
If you can't find anyone, just send an email to 2024 at siteml.org and it will send a notification to our Slack channel um, that, that we've set up so someone will come and help you. If you would like to connect to the Edurome Wi-Fi, if you're an academic, I don't need to explain how it works. If you're not an academic, I discovered uh, two days ago that there is this magical phone number that you can text and it will provide you with a username and password. The catch is that this username and password expire by the end of date. So if tomorrow you still need Wi-Fi, please remind me because I will inevitably forget to give you the new uh, code that you need to send to that phone number tomorrow. Um, I also want to uh, point out that there are universal washrooms on the basement level, so this level uh, outside the arbor room, and you'll see signage for that outside. Um, and then in terms of the meals, we'll provide lunch and uh, two coffee breaks. Um, for dinner, you're welcome to explore the uh, incredible restaurant scene that we have in Toronto. If you need any recommendations, uh, please, please feel free to ask me or anyone from my group for, for recommendations. We have pretty much uh, any possible cuisine you can think of covered in Toronto. So uh, try to, to find one we don't know about and, and you'll be surprised. Um, for the schedule, again, another QR code to scan or you can just go on our website. One thing that people usually don't realize is if you click on these cells, it will provide a pop-up with a lot more information about the session. Um, so don't hesitate to do that. And I just want to uh, remind people that the papers will be presented twice. Each paper will be presented twice. This is, um, again, for uh, folks who haven't been to conferences with that format. So there is a presentation for each paper. It's 15 minutes long. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, so tonight and tomorrow night, we'll also have poster sessions. Um, so we split the papers into two groups and they will be presenting just at the back of the room. You can see the poster boards have been uh, set up. I should also say to the authors, do not hang your posters with anything else than Velcro and otherwise I will get in trouble. Okay. So come and see us and we'll give you a, a, a piece of Velcro to attach your poster. I was also really excited to see uh, how much interest there was in the SATML competition. So these were organized ahead of the conference and uh, basically finished for the, for the most part last month. And so on Thursday afternoon, the competition organizers have agreed uh, to give a presentation about the outcomes of the of these competitions and also to give a sense of uh, sort of what the winning solutions were and some of the uh, winning solution authors will be presenting as well. So um, what we'll do is we'll be uh, splitting into two groups. So if you want to hear about uh, the large language models capture the flag, uh, Eduardo and Danielle will be presenting that uh, in the main conference room where all the rest of the sessions will happen. And then we booked a room that will be just across the street uh, from, from that, where we'll have a joint presentation by Javier and Stefan um, on the two other competitions. So that's the Trojan competition and the CNN interpretability competition. Okay? So this reminds me that as you can see, on Thursday we'll be in Innes College. So on Thursday morning, do remind yourself that we are not in this room anymore. Uh, if you'd like to know why, I'm happy to tell you over the, the break this very long story and it's boring. Uh, but it, it's just a few, uh, a few blocks this way, uh, also on UFT campus. Uh, we're also very excited to have in the program two tutorials. So Yves-Alexandre de Montjoie will be talking about detecting the use of copyright protected content by LLMs. That will be tomorrow at the beginning of the afternoon. And then Sheila McIlrath, uh, who is sitting right here, uh, is going to give us uh, a tutorial about formal languages and how they help AI agents learn and reason. And that will be on Thursday morning. Okay. Tomorrow we'll also get 
uh, a keynote from uh, Deborah Rachi on auditing and accountability in the age of AI. And I will introduce that uh, tomorrow, of course. But in the meanwhile, I'd like to introduce this morning's uh, keynote speaker, uh, Somesh Cha, who will be uh, speaking on watermarking, uh, or as he likes to say, the state of the union of watermarking. Um, so I just want to say a few words about Somesh. So I guess technically speaking, uh, first, uh, so Somesh is a Lubar professor in CS at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, you probably know him for uh, his work, I, I like to say, in a previous life on uh, the analysis of security protocols and formal methods for security. But now Somesh has reinvented himself and uh, discovered a passion for privacy and adversarial machine learning. So this is why uh, he's here today. Um, Somesh has so many accolades that we can uh, sort of spend the whole session listing them, but in particular, he's a fellow of the AAAS, ACM, and IEEE. And I would say on a more personal note, Somesh is a great advocate for early career researchers. Um, and in particular, he has been a great mentor to me. Um, he, he essentially taught me back in 2015 what it means to be a researcher uh, when we were starting our work on adversarial examples. So. I owe him a lot uh, for his uh, patience with me and all the things that I've learned uh, from him. So today, he'll be talking about the use cases uh, that word marking is appropriate for, uh, and I really look forward uh, to this presentation. Uh, so, Mesh, please, please come up. Do you have your laptop? Okay. So, a round of applause for Somesh. 